been fasting all morning. My goal for this week is to fast through breakfast. Well, not eat after 7 o'clock and then fast until lunchtime at 12. So here's my lunch. So I prepped, I measured out everything. My salad is like 420 calories with chicken, which this is three ounces of shredded chicken. And I have two tablespoons of my blue cheese dressing. So that's gonna be my lunch and I'm excited. I'm telling y'all this week we are going, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Hey guys, so it's about three o'clock in the afternoon i wanted to show you a little snack pack i made cheese in it two boiled eggs a few tomatoes those two uh, smoked sausages from the duke's brand that i like and some walnuts this is just something to snack on throughout the day if i get hungry um i'm probably gonna eat these two eggs and that's about it but yeah just good for on the go and i just had it in the fridge um just in case Hey guys, it's dinner time. So I'm measuring out. I made some uh, keto chili. It's 80-20 ground beef with tomatoes, a small jalapeno, some diced uh, white onion, garlic, and I seasoned it with salt, pepper, some cumin, oregano. Um, so I'm going to measure out two ounces of this uh, chili and I'm probably going to add some additional fat to some sour cream and cheese and that'll be my dinner and we're capping it out nicely for Monday. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. So one hack or I guess wouldn't really call it a hack but anyway I've noticed that I've been slacking on my water intake so this week with my fasting from dinner basically so um, 7 o'clock at night until the next day at 12 p.m. when I eat lunch I've been chugging a lot more water so I've been using this app called water daily and it's been super super helpful and beneficial in reminding me to drink more throughout the day um, but specifically what I've been doing before lunch before any meal is chugging at least one of these right before I eat it helps me feel uh, more full but I'm also ensuring that I'm getting enough water in for the day so I came to the grocery store after work to get um, John some things for dinner and look at what I'm looking at all the candy that I can't have <laughs> I'm actually feeling pretty good though. I am getting hungry because um, I'm usually eating dinner about this time. But um, I'm getting ready to check out. And yeah, um, I basically ate the same thing today that I ate yesterday. And I'm going to eat that chili again for dinner. So yeah, and I should eat before 7 o'clock. Sticking to the plan. Hey guys, so it's later in the day. I'm running, well, I'm out of chili actually, so I'm gonna actually make these ground chuck burgers um, and eat that for dinner since I've been eating chili every day. So I'm kind of burned out on it anyway, which this is kind of the same thing. So I'm gonna add a slice of provolone cheese to the top and just eat one of these patties for tonight. Um, but it is 80 20, 80% 80 lean, 20% fat. So that's a plus, and I'll still be under my calorie count for the day. lunchtime and I'm officially going to break my fast for Friday and instead of salad like I've been having all week I decided to switch it up and try this real good pizza. I tried the pepperoni before and I really liked it so I'm trying the supreme this time. It's only four uh, carbs total. Really really good macros. I saw this recommended by Keto Connect so I thought I'd give it a try and see how I like the supreme but the, the pepperoni was really good. Y'all, I'm really feeling weak. They brought cookie cake in the office today. And I said no yesterday. Didn't eat any. Even have my snack pack here with my egg, boiled eggs, walnuts, cheese, um, those sausage links. But I, I would much rather prefer a piece of cookie cake. 
I've been doing so good. What do you do during these times? When you're craving sweets, but boiled eggs or cookie cake. <laughs> Y'all pray my strength. Y'all, I'm literally looking up the nutrition just to unmotivate myself to get some. I had one on my fitness pal, the chocolate chip cookie. And look at this. 21 grams of carbs, 11 grams of sugar, all things I can't have. So that should be motivation enough for me not to eat it. Good morning, guys. It's Sunday. I'm headed to church. Um, I actually packed a snack because I did not eat breakfast this morning and I'm not fasting either. I hadn't planned on it. Maybe I should be. But um, I got these flax crackers from Trader Joe's. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll know exactly the ones I'm talking about. And I spread it with some um, almond butter. And I'm just going to snack on this because I am feeling a little hungry, but I'm not like hungry enough to eat a whole meal. And it's good for on the go. So today's weigh-in day. I'm kind of nervous for later, but what is up guys we officially made it to sunday the end of week three i believe i can't believe it's already there been three weeks anywho um so listen i'm gonna be completely honest i fell off the bandwagon this weekend we like went out with some friends and went out to eat probably like every day this weekend um so it was it was difficult and there are definitely some healthier decisions that i could have made but i chose not to because i'm just out here living my best life so eventually i will find a balance in living the keto lifestyle but also enjoying myself not being so um rigid but I need to be rigid. So the one of the big pieces of why I decided to do keto is to become more disciplined in my eating and just eat for nutrition and not for, um, you know, like to be social and to hang out, like having more control over what I uh, feed my body. So I'm learning it's baby steps. It's just my third week. So of course I'm still having some ups and downs anywho i weighed myself on friday and i was down 3.4 pounds which was great because my goal for the week was to lose between three and five pounds because of um my like such low loss on week two because like I said, I definitely did cheat this weekend and it was not cute. <laughs> so as usual, I did um, count on my macros and my fitness pal. So this is the average of all my macros, what my goals were, and then what I averaged out. So stuck pretty good to the plan. It's just the weekends that tripped me up a little bit that might throw my numbers off, but overall not the worst I could have done. Which brings my total loss for the past three weeks to <laughs> right here so your girl is it's baby steps slowly but surely my goal is to lose a total of 20 pounds by the end of august so i'm fairly on track i'm maybe a few pounds behind um if i stick with like the three to four pounds per week but nevertheless i will make up for that i'm gonna start working out more next week and incorporating that into my my diet and my lifestyle so i have a plan in place like a plan that i'm going to stick to for week four um, and I'll be sharing more about like my meal plans and how I'm I'm counting on my macros and how I keep up with ensuring that I'm getting enough fats in and still keeping my carb count as low as possible. Um, I've been doing well on keeping the carbs low. Um, I just have to make sure I'm getting enough fats. I think that's what I'm struggling with the most right now. But anywho, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I know the footage was a bit um on the shy side this week just because if i didn't show you what i was eating throughout the week i was just eating the same thing because that's what my meal plan was accounting for so yeah definitely excited to share some new recipes that i'm gonna try for week four and remember whatever you do in life it's a breeze